What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and welcome to a special edition today and I call it a special edition because I've gotten hundreds of emails, hundreds, probably like 25 emails from you guys asking about Comet Siding Spring and I want to do a picture, yeah, I want to do a video where I get all the pictures together. I was going to do this anyway, um, but over the last three days I've been there's all, all sorts of controversy swirling around. The alternative media, um, Suspicious Observer, and BP Earthwatch put out some really good uh, footage and uh, talked a little bit about what they saw um, in the SLU Observatory's footage. It looks like they were uh, following it afterwards and uh, after it just passed a little bit. And the, all of a sudden there seems to be some sort of anomaly coming down off of it. Um, and they cut out. And now that's not NASA. That's that's a private organization so we can't really you know go call crazy on that but I'll show you that clip here in a little bit and also the uh, the clip of the the flash bang it looks like it goes off right as uh, Mars has gone by and the tail starting to come through and a lot of people are calling that a, a static discharge electric discharge um, an asteroid hitting and uh you know, you, got, you think here, we're never, probably not going to know unless there's some major changes, and we'll see them here soon. I mean, the Recognizance Orbiter and all these other ones, uh, Mars Express, they fly around and they take pictures. They, they see when there's an asteroid hit, there's been plenty of uh, shots that they've caught. So here's the Hubble telescope. So we'll talk a little about them, show you some of those in a second. Um, this is, like I said, for the guys who uh, watch my channel and you guys haven't had a chance to check these pictures out, all the links are going to be in the description for all the things across the top here. Um, as always, I give you the links. But this is uh, Hubble. Hubble did a great job with it. And let's see, let me try and zoom in here. Like I said, you can see Mars, how it's got that beautiful blue around it that Hubble does capture so wonderfully. Um, also, the white down there at the bottom, the ice. There's plenty of, plenty of water on Mars. Uh, we've got a good water video coming up, too, here soon. So, And here's the comet looking pretty big as it's approaching. Um, as we go on through, Maven next. Maven caught it, and they caught it in the... Uh, ultraviolet light I believe right here Maven's ultraviolet image of comet siding spring hydrogen coma they're saying it's a hydrogen coma so Maven spacecraft obtained this ultraviolet image of hydrogen surrounding comet siding spring on Friday October 17th two days before the comet's closest approach to Mars the uh, IUVS instrument imaged the comet at a distance of 5.3 million miles or 8.5 million kilometers the image shows sunlight that has been scattered by atomic hydrogen and is shown as blue in this false color representation Comets are surrounded by a huge cloud of atomic hydrogen because H2O vaporizes from the icy nucleus and solar ultraviolet light breaks it apart into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen atoms scatter solar ultraviolet light, and this light was what was imaged by the UIVS, or IUVS. Uh, two observers' uh, observations were combined to create this image. Uh, so there's two images here creating this one. After removing the foreground signal, the results from the sunlight being scattered from the hydrogen surrounding Mars. The bulk of the scattered sunlight shows the cloud that was about half the degree across the sky background, comparable in size to the moon's, uh, the Earth's moon as seen from Earth. Hydrogen was detected as far as 93 miles, uh, 93,000 miles away from the comet's nucleus. Um, the distance is comparable to the distance of the comet from Mars at its closest approach. Gas from the comet is likely to have hit Mars. Uh, and would have done so at the speed of 125,000 miles per hour. This gas may have disturbed the Mars atmosphere. So, pretty interesting, as you can see it here. Um, not much to look at there, but that's the comet. Um, pretty cool. As we move on, what's next? Exciting spring, the uh, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. I kind of thought this was going to be a little bit better here. Um, but... You know, because this is a pretty high resolution when it looks down. I'm not sure how it takes pictures from out in the sky or how that actually works. Did they use the same cameras or not or if there's another camera on there. But uh, the high-rise camera, it says the high-rise camera, so the good one. On the uh, MRO, captured views of Comet Siding Spring while the visitor sped past Mars on Sunday, yielding information about its nucleus. The images are high resolution, the highest resolution views ever acquired of the comet coming from the Oort cloud and fringes of our solar system. Other spacecraft have approached and studied comets with shorter orbits. This comet, flyby of Mars, provides spacecraft with the Red Planet an opportunity to investigate from a close range. Um, here's some more of the highest resolution of the image of nucleus taken from a distance of 86,000 miles. Have a scale of 150 yards per pixel. Telescopic observers have modeled the size of the nucleus about a half a mile or one kilometer wide. 
Um, however, the best high-rise images show only two to three pixels across for the brightest feature, probably nuclear suggesting a smaller size than half the estimate. So the thing is about half of what they thought it was. Um, pretty cool. Pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat. More, see, I, I thought that would be a little bit more high resolution. I guess they're calling it high resolution. The Hubble looked the best so far to me. I just love how uh, the Hubble pictures end up coming out. Um, all right, India, they're safe too. Mars orbiter dodges comet, safe and sound in orbit. Um, here's another feather in a cap for India's newest brand ambassador, MOM. Despite being the closest to comet sighting spring, compared to the other spacecraft early Monday, it escaped unscathed when the comet made its nearly 90-minute flyby of the Red Planet, according to Kiram Kumar, the director of ISRO's Ahmedabad Base Space Application Center. Sorry if I said that wrong, guys. I'm I mean, no disrespect. After flyby, Mom tweeted, Phew! Experience of a lifetime. Watched a number Mars comet, number sighting spring, whizzing past the planet. I'm in orbit safe and sound. Now, we have not seen anything from them yet. Here, this shows, uh, if you want to watch this, this shows us, uh, I'll read this later, shows a little bit of the uh, distances, each where they were. Um, as we move forward, since uh, here's the, the actual tweet from them. Here, we're going to make it a little bigger for you if you guys are looking at it. Phew! There it is right there. And then nothing new on uh, from them, if you check it out. Nothing new at all from ISRO. If you check the images out, still just those four. So, And then if you check out their uh, website or Facebook page, Facebook's got it a little bit more. Let's see, ISRO. So there's still those old images. You think that they, they said, well, the guy just said, uh, <laughs> I mean, you read the Twitter page, he says, Watch the Mars Comet Sighting Spring flyby. So hopefully ISR will be uh, releasing these here soon. Um, there we go. Last thing was this Phobos, which I showed you before. So not much going on there. And here's the, what uh, Comet Sighting Spring near miss with Mars. This was NASA's site afterwards, uh, just showing that everything was in good health. Uh, we've also got, let's see here. Opportunity found this one right here. Now this first we're going to show you. This is the uh, MRO again. This is Hubble. Pretty cool. Now here was Opportunity rovers. It looks like Opportunity caught it, but uh, curi well, Curiosity didn't from what I see. Um, here you got the, the long version of it uh, looking out into space. And that looks, I do believe it's right there, uh, Siding Spring. And uh, that is where it is. Here is the real fast. That's the long version of it, um, exposure. And this is just a regular exposure taken. It's amazing the little rover up there was able to get such a good shot. Um, opportunity was not in the spot to get it. And once again, here is the other picture that's out there. Now, other people did catch it. Now, there's some beautiful pictures of it out on the Internet. Um, roaming around, if you will, come up here on Flickr. Uh, uh, NASA website's got a link to them right here. You, if you just go ahead and click away, and you'll be able to come through these right here. They're all beautiful. The there's everything. Here's the comet up here. Here's Mars. Just a beautiful shot. Let's see. Let's go through a couple of these real fast. Um, where are we at here? I know that. I think that's just Mars right there. I'm not sure. Here's the comet, I believe, right there as it comes by on the way in. Yep, here it is right there on the way in. That's a beautiful shot. Here's Mars again. So bright. And uh, where's the comet? I do believe the comet's right there. Or it's up there. Oh, maybe it's over here. Yeah, because there's a line of sight there. I think it's over there. It's funny how everything's a little bit different where you image it from. There's just the comet right there. Beautiful. This is the day approaching it. A couple days before. Um, here's the comet. And here's Mars. Just beautiful. You can see like the sun dog effect you get off a lot of these telescopes when it comes through. Uh, some more here. Here is the Mars sitting there. And where's the comet on this one? Don't see it on this one. I wonder if it's just down here or if it's over here. I don't know. Oh. Beautiful. There's Mars right there. And here's the comet coming in. Let's look at the background there. They let that just the exposure shot. Just gorgeous. I'm going to try and get what's up in the sky.com a pimp telescope here soon. I've been saving up for one. I got everybody uh, in the family geared up to want one. So I think we're going to put in and get it. Um, Trying to give my mom a hobby anyway after dad passed away. So check this out here. Um, pretty beautiful here. Blue coming in. All the pictures we see looking out into it. You see it blue and Mars. It just, when you got to get it so bright. Um, 
here we are again coming on in I don't even see uh, Mars there so we're a little bit ahead of ourselves so I think this is getting earlier it's October 8th so we're we're back ahead of ourselves there and uh, also down here these even more under flicker astro challenges uh, beautiful there's Mars right there just uh, as mysterious as can be check out the check out the website for uh, latest anomalies the last couple of videos have been amazing here's a comet up here rock and rolling there's Mars all right, there's just a comet, pretty neat. And these are just some ground-based telescopes. There's the comet. So we get the picture now. Oh, let's go to this other footage here, because if you guys uh, stuck around, let's see how far into we are. This I should have done this first. We're at 10 minutes, but we wanted to show you what was going on. To be honest, like, I don't know what to think about this stuff. Um, this was from, let me say who this was from, Comet. C 2013 A1 post encounter with Mars. This is Fritz Helmut Hemrich. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to his stuff up because he's got some really cool videos. And finally, look, look how many he actually got here. So I'm glad that he's actually getting some hits. Check this out. Um, here, I'll just play it for you real quick. You can see what happens here. Right there. Uh, they call that, well, BP Earthwatch, I think, was calling this some sort of uh, discharge. Suspicious observer, he had uh, talked to somebody. He they uh, he seems to have a good grasp on it, what's going on. I, like I said, I really don't know what that is. Could it have been an asteroid hitting? Could it have been anything? As far as I know, it could be anything. Here's Mars right there. Just kind of boom, 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 boom. And we've seen flashes in space, so it could have been a star flashing behind it. Who really knows? I don't think we're ever going to find out. So let's say we look down and we see, uh, like I said, the MRO, all these can actually take pictures and see what's changed. So we'll see stuff that's changed if they, if they let us know. So if there was a big asteroid hit the planet, we should know. Uh, we relatively, we, we've got scans of most of the planet from the last, uh, you know, 10 years for a fairly high resolution, which can see asteroids coming in. Whatever that flash was, that was pretty big. Um, like I said, unless it was just lined up perfectly, maybe something behind it. You guys let me know what you think about that. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into speculation because I'm not going to speculate what I don't know or understand. So, all right, let me see here. I know I've got a one more for you guys. Let me pause this real quick. All right, so this is from Suspicious Observer's video, and this was taken from the SLU feed. And look how this is just kind of mysterious what happens here. We'll watch it real fast. As you see, this set starts coming. Look at that. What in the world is that? This is supposedly the live feed coming. It looks like it's just dripping down off of it. Changes a little bit there and fades away. It goes back to the other picture. And now we're back to that. Now he's just showing it again here. Um, and then the feed just goes away. Right to that. Yeah, I don't know what to think. There's the other one again. So I don't know what to think about that, guys. <laughs> you know, that was pretty interesting. Uh, you let me know what's up in the sky 37 mysteries out there on mars um i tell you anything we anything about it is just a mystery and i love it i love the anomalies we're getting lately that the people are hitting the videos a lot more all my friends that uh, have started making videos over the last year their accounts are starting to get a lot of hits on them people are hungry for this information it's time to get it out time to keep pushing forward they said i don't know at least this was just beautiful space news you you decide i report you decide We'll do it live. All right, guys, much love. Take it easy. Peace.